today are gonna be kind of modifying or we overdid over I overdid the toiletries yesterday so I have to condense them down to make room for the sinks yeah kind of obvious mistake but we're gonna be doing that today making the sinks and uh but putting in the door so let's get the level going here Open. savings and thank you downer zero for the follow even though it's offline but thank you very much Loading, 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 loading. There we go. You see, I made too many stalls. One too many. So. to delete or not delete it. Create a, just a box so I can delete that geometry. and stick out.
darn. Pretend control. Great on. Uh, 
let's do that later. Sorry, I was thinking. Grizz off, why is it going so big?
Okay. So I can get rid of that one now. Sorry, I'm just going by the design for the looks in. not up.
I would love to put holes in the side of those tubes. But you can't. It'll mess up the whole geometry. That's why it's like this. Because this don't look quite as good. But that's why I hide it. Had to make a day feeding.
color should I make it? Well, firstly, I, well, it looks good. It won't be fully sized, right? You can't, the tubes don't connect. Thank you. 
Well, that's kind of weird. Too fitting now. Don't want to do that. Don't want to combine them. Oops.
Okay. Fake. This is not one of Carver. It does. It's like, well, I'll do it the other way. By the way, I have to remake that bottom one. It's off center. through. Hey there, Jabo, how you doing? all the way through. Oh. Yes, that is, is it's a sink. Oh, let me get in the Discord real quick. How you doing? Can you hear me? 
Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm oh, just okay. muting your uh, your channel right now. Oh, good. <laughs> so you don't get that echo. Yeah, very yeah. special. Echo, 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 echo. Oh, yeah. So, uh, what's happening, man? This is looking pretty good. I'm just building my sinks, sink and my plumbing and stuff. Trying to create a hole. A hole. Sometimes it works, sometimes it wants to have weird geometry. But hey, you're messing with... I think uh, a lot of them have that truck. Clipping has always been a real yeah iffy thing. Even in most all... Yeah, most all yeah. of them tell you... What do they tell you? Do you know how to delete the... Uh, <clears throat> Like you would keep, you would keep all your edges, but you would delete the those two faces that you were going through. Uh yeah. You, oh, I'll show you here. You just go into face on your object. Here, I'll show you. Um. Now I don't want you to do this unless you know what I'm saying here first, though. Yeah. Here's what I did in Blender because here, of I'm because of. I'm uh, showing you right now. Okay, because in Blender they had some. They had they told me what to do in Blender to keep from cutting, because cutting can be a nightmare. Like, yes, it can. You can delete faces like I just did. So what and what they told me so is this: is that you can delete the top face that you were you were going through and the bottom face that you were going through. And then put your pipe up there, and then from that pipe, leave a vert like a, a leave a level, and at that same level, then you would uh, fill. What did they call that? You would fill, you would fill basically from the pipe, all the way out. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. Like you would fill um, that face. Yeah, that's what that's what you would do. You would fill that face from those vertices going around, out to those to the top top table part. Is one way that they showed me. I don't know if you want to go into that. Looks like you did well to me on this what this clip. You know? Yeah, sometimes deleting faces is just if it's not meant for that. Sometimes it works perfect, like what I just did for you. It right. works perfect, and other times you'll have this weird line that goes from the, especially with the circle on a flat uh -huh. plane. You'll have a. You'll have a line of geometry shooting off toward the side if you just delete a face. Sometimes. Oh yeah, that that's what it does. It'll send a it'll send a vertices off into oblivion. Yeah, but it appeared to work just fine that time. So I gotta build the doors to my cabinet. Probably take this out of plumbing level layer. Oh, this is the this is like the restrooms. Yeah. I know you can't see what I'm doing here, but I'm creating a layer for restroom cabinet. Oh one A. Oh. Because this is the landing pad 1A.
And then you put that layer inside another layer. And mill it to yourself and when you get it, hit it with a hammer. That's a movie line. Terminatively put them in a box. Put that box in another box. Smell it to yourself and when it arrives, hit it with a hammer. Ha! Ah. Oh, I have to look at that. Where did you get that line? Uh, uh, Emperor's New Groove, years ago. Yeah. She was trying to kill the Emperor and she wanted to turn him into a flea and then put that flea in a box, put that box in another box, mail it to herself, and when it arrives, hit it with a hammer. Oh. <laughs> Little exhaustive there. Yeah. Oops. Ah, this is my problem. I found that even though box is selected by default, if you select it, it has a little easier time with editing. Back before, it wouldn't let anything edit. Let's see, change pivot level. So when you move it, it operates properly. Turn off the grid. Get positioned. Whoa. I'm impressed with your cameras in this uh, lumber yard. Yeah, it, it, they uh, move around like um, vid vid like game controls. Have you ever tried like other um, uh, the, uh, uh, modeling uh, programs that uh, where the, the camera? The one I really it? liked was Rhino Cross, but um, the one that had the worst cameras was Milkshake. Have you ever oh, tried milkshake? Yeah, milkshake was a nightmare. Oh my goodness, milkshake was a nightmare. Now you now you're bringing back memories when you say that. Yeah, that was so bad. Trying to go slow Add an offset to that before I build it. So you know pretty much the what stuff is. You know the booleans and the offsets and the extruding. You know about that command. I forgot to, what I forgot what boolean is. Uh, boolean is a mathematical equation for like a subtraction, addition, union. You know, it, it creates a yeah, geometry equation. It's too tall. Okay. Now, I wasn't too good at that. I always just set my grid, you know, and yeah. try to follow that grid. I usually set the grid as small as I can go because, you know, I forgot to raise it up first. Set the grid as small as it can go. Leave a little gap 
so the doors can swing. Couple of offsets. So we can make kind of a design. This, uh, what kind of It's pretty basic, but matches the rest of the play. I'll give you a tour in a little bit. Yeah, that's cool. It's one of the first things uh, I thought about. I was like, man, I'd like to get a tour, but... Uh, I thought, well, I'm not going to say nothing. Yeah, I'll uh, give it a tour. That's fine. So, does it have the uh, the doors that, that block off areas like they were talking about? Do you have access to I, that? Once I create it, yeah. I, I don't have the doors from RSI. I'm trying not to use any of their stuff to give, you know, so people can see peaks, but you can import certain objects into this from our side of the pack files and stuff. I'm trying not to. Can you make your custom door do what y theirs does? Yes. You can. See, that's the men's bathroom. Here's a sofa I made. This is going to be the southwest landing area. The whole upper city is southwest because it was founded by the three brothers. You'll meet them with Sabian. He's when he re I'm writing a book about them. So, yeah. so they'll they'll be in almost like competition then probably, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. The three brothers are in competition for their father's affection. And one brother's just like, no matter what he does is wrong, so he's just like, whatever, you know. Here's the sofa I made. Here's a coffee table. Nice. And here's the other sofa. Here's one of the fountains. Yeah, I haven't really seen any fountains yet in the game, you know? Yeah, I... That's kind of nice. Let's see, there's that fountain. There's, oh, that fountain. These are pretty much just static images, you know. You, But here, this is the information center. You know, when you land or you're dropped off on your cruise ship to here where is all the stuff like what floor is the bar on where is the hotel and this will be the render to picture monitors that show you where stuff is I like how you made it into almost like a shopping mall or slash airport yeah look, an field. airport Terminal was my inspiration for this, yes. And there's more places to sit and wait for your ship it, or whatnot. These are the two vending machines on the side. Uh, Big Bennies and Pips. 
there's an elevator goes up and down to the various levels here's the big fountain um here's some tables for you to sit and eat your stuff this is supposed to be is going to be glass right yeah yeah I kind of I kind of figured that you know just from the design it sends that idea yeah and I I'll show you some this, um, more tables to eat at. These are my other vending machines. I have to get them. Right now, they're just boxes. So, where did the glass come from? It, is that stuff that you textured? Uh, I I built a, um out of geometry, and I'll just add the material to the glass to make it see through, to make it look like glass. Right now, I haven't textured or anything, so... I see the elevator's textured. Oh, I haven't redone it yet. But yes, the elevator's textured, and it's got the glass. I haven't redone it Is this going to look a lot like Revel in York, you think? Um, no, this is going to be the Southwest. It's going to be kind of an Adobe Terracotta kind of look to it. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, nice. You with a futuristic touch. Yes. And there's the uh, the ventilation system I was talking about. I have to finish piping it in. But your character can kind of go through. See, that's what happens when you delete faces. It looks horrible. But your character can crawl through here, kind of like Bishop did in Aliens. Okay. Yeah. And, uh... Go through the ceiling. I haven't added all the... Ceiling points yet. This is gonna be really high in the air and not on the ground. But I haven't started our work on the tech terrain or anything yet, so... Oh, but you've got a lot done there, man. That looks great. Yeah. Looks well, like you've taken some real nice time there. I have taken my time, and I've uh, looked around at magazines and stuff to get design elements, and then I put in a futuristic system. The inspiration for my duck working here was Die Hard and when Bishop was crawling through the tubes. You know, Die Hard was like, now I know what a TV dinner feels like. Right, yeah. And then Bishop was just, like, getting out there so he could... Yeah. Uh, call the... Other call, ship. Yeah, the drop ship. Yeah. And here is the bathroom that I've been working on. You saw me build a sink. And here's the privacy stalls. See, they don't quite line up like bathroom stalls don't, so you, the doors open. You don't want to seal too much. But right. each one of these has a... So the plumbing can go through. And I haven't added the uh, ceramic tile to the walls yet. I'm wondering if I need to make it more subway tiles or like the big foot long ceramic tiles that you get in nice bathrooms. So, but that's about all I've done so far. It looks like a lot to me. Yeah. I've had to. Uh, I know what it takes, you know. I've had to hand make everything, like all these grates and stuff. Yeah. This yeah, is, I could tell this is all custom. Yeah. This is where you'd enter in. And sometimes you gotta work on something to get it to work right. Other times it's like, it's worse right off the bat. 
like Zonta has a lot to find tried like 10 different ways to make stuff because the leaning faces leaves for the season go everywhere but next on my list is this wall out here they room for the door and then I had to start on this bathroom this bathroom won't take very long because you know you just get to copy and paste everything these couches took a long time and no matter what I tried the uh, padding it didn't look like padding so and that will be fabric because there is a fabric texture in this but I'm mainly waiting to for the textures RSI mix and these fountains were hard because there's so much geometry on them and they kept wanting to mess up so I have to create that and then I'm gonna put a design on these columns you know kind of like the fountains and my inspiration it was uh have you ever been to fries electronics okay guess he's not there what's that have you ever been to fries electronics Oh no no okay yeah you told me about that before yeah uh, yeah they look okay, I was like sitting they, there going fries and like you know to me that sounds foreign but yeah you're right yeah their so walls you talked about that before their walls look all Mayan and everything and you know I was like you know that was my inspiration for the fountains and I'm like okay so I still have to texture those. I'm kind of debating whether if I want to leave this area clear for people to stand around and you know wait for the ships or if I want to make a seating area but I think if I make a seating area it get in the way of the people um, going to the ships I'm not sure. And if you're on Chrome or Firefox browser, there are stream interactions for you. Okay, wow, these are pretty intense. Like, like these uh, Fry's Electronics do some pretty wild themes like one's got a flying saucer crashing into the building yeah and the other one's got a big Mayan dragon one of them's got one of the big ants from remember the movie them uh them or they the one where they called them them and then they ended up going down into their lair and they started shooting them with with uh fire torching them no i i don't remember offhand. I think I see the one that was the Mayan design. Is that the one that's your store? Yeah, that's not my store, no. But it's one I, I go to a lot. And uh, when I'm in Phoenix, that's my favorite store. And I figured I'd do that to the big, you know, just to break up the monotony. Uh huh. Wow. That's pretty cool. So, but like I was telling you about the stream interactions, are you on Chrome or Firefox browser? Um, uh, Firefox. I'm just going through images. If you go to my stream and mouse over on the right hand side, there's a pop up that will come up. Do you see it? On your right hand side. On the street, yeah, on the stream page, it should pop up.
It's not popping up. On here, I've got Assassin Creed advertisement going on. Oh, on the Firefox browser. Yeah, what what browser do you use? I use um I use all sorts of, but I use Firefox for that and Edge for the most part. Edge, but, I've never even heard of Edge. That's a good thing though. I like to use the guy that's, you know, the underdog. Well, it's pretty fast, but mm -hmm. checking my streaming directions, I got a Bud Light advertisement going on now. <laughs> oh, to yourself? Yeah. While you're in the middle of your work? Well, yeah, I'm checking. Well, what happened to my lumberyard? Oh, it says lumberyard by Amazon. I. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah, I have uh, several browsers. This is my, if I'm, there it is. Yeah, it's on my right hand side. You'll have a confetti, fields meter, globe, and poles. Do you see them? No. Okay. And it's supposed to be on on screen where your little arrow is, huh? Yeah. Hang on, look. Okay, I see it now. Okay. I thought that was part of your lumber yard. No, that's So what happens if I hit confetti? It, well, it goes into a uh, goes into a, a cup, and once confetti gets the confetti gets full, it'll bring down on the screen. It's a way for you to make to interact with the stream. Oh, so so I almost have it because I've been here for a while, huh? If if you've been uh, actually you click on it, just click on it about twenty times. Then I have that uh, on there for you to uh, tell me how you feel about the stream. Then the globe will pop up for you. You know, it's just streaming, stream interactions. It's just a way for you to uh, interact with the stream. What? That is on here, right? Oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't have that up. So eventually, when do I, when can Hang I on. launch the confetti? I forgot to create the. Glad you're helping me test this. Yeah. I've been telling people to spam confetti, and it's only on my other one. Get this. So, sorry, you'll see my mouse moving. Okay, now you can just spam it until it shows up. And you can spam different colors of confetti. I'm 
Let's just wait for it to show up. There it goes. One, two. Aha! All right. Okay, so it does work. Good. We're having trouble with getting it to work before. Let's have trouble a lot with Muxy. Bathroom is pretty much done except for that wall. I'll be right back, Waxman. All right. Save that. Turn off the blooming. This is in installation. This is in Russian way. on plumbing. Edit damages.
Connected. Turn my collision back on.
not need to add. Be doing that to me. I haven't edited the object yet. first. Turn off the cabinet. Well, yeah, it's fine. Turn off the privacy walls.
Didn't take as long as I thought. This room is over there. Time to put some. Sh no. Go add some geometry to our. Bending machines. How many walls were here?
layer that I put these in that they spend food tables. No, gotta do it manually.
Good feet. This is a rectangle.
sad a little. This is on up here. Some stray faces.
Okay. Manual time. Side. Well, hmm.
What? Wait a second. Wait just a second.
Finish these and Looks for like part of the same area. I like it. Okay. Let's say that. And that's all for today. I shall see you in a little bit on the VFA now. Have a good day. See you tomorrow. On, well, on VFA today will be tomorrow, but the VFA now will be in five minutes. See you then.